Welcome to the DK Custom Products YouTube channel. I'm Dwayne, and today I'm going to show you a part that doesn't necessarily serve a purpose other than looking badass. And we're gonna install it on this OG Nightster. All right, so the part I have for you guys today, it's a pulley guard. So it takes the OEM pulley guard off that guards the pulley, as the name implies, and it just replaces it for a see-through unit. So you can see the pulley and see the action going on behind it. But before we get into that installation and this unpackaging, I'd appreciate if you guys would like, comment, and subscribe to our channel, because that really helps us out. All right, so first thing, you're gonna open it up and uh, pull out the instructions so that you can check the contents. In our instruction sheet, we list the contents of every package. So you wanna go over that, make sure everything's there before you start tearing into things. All right, so first thing on the list is gonna be one pulley cover. Obviously, that's what we got here. It is a very nice unit. It's laser cut, American cold rolled steel with a powder coat finish. So it's gonna last the life of that bike and beyond. Next thing you have is one large spacer. Go ahead and unpackage those now for you. And to be exact, it's American DOM steel. And again, with a powder coat finish. So not, uh, it's a semi-gloss finish. It's uh, known as Sano Black. And next on the list, two small spacers. Those are there. A three eighths bolt that's two and a half inches long and a two quarter 20 bolts that are two and a quarter inch long. Those are both socket head cap screws, and of course, a series of washers to put under those bolts. All right, now I'm gonna read really quickly through the instructions, you guys follow along. All right, now a special little detail, uh, it's not gonna be in the instructions, but it's one thing we're gonna do to take this the next step, and we're going to color match the pulley. You notice this is a two-tone Nightster with that uh, metallic gray, Got a little rattle can specialty here. We're gonna color match that pulley. So we're gonna show you that uh, as well as doing the installation. All right, so of course, like I said, in the first step, you're going to remove the OEM pulley cover. And uh, it does mention an L bracket that may or may not be there that holds the exhaust on. This particular model has that L bracket. So we're gonna take that off first. And we'll loosen that one. And there is a uh, another uh, socket head that holds that L bracket to the pulley guard. That bolt has obviously never been removed. It's got the factory thread locker on it. You'll notice there's a little spacing back here and that's what the spacers that we include with the kit are for. All right, now the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna tape all this off so we don't get any overspray. And like I said earlier, we're gonna paint this pulley. So it looks cool contrasting behind the pulley guard. You can see it turning over and uh, no real purpose other than looking good. So you can see if there's a uh, you know, metallic gray back there, it'll look real nice turning over behind that cover. Now this Pulley is one of the few things on this bike that's gonna get a little corrosion on it. Uh, we're gonna get that off before we hit it with the light coat of paint, basic wire brush, same way you clean your grill actually, and just uh, go to town on it. It's just surface rust, so you just wanna break it up and then uh, you know it's starting to come off already. So I'm gonna get busy doing this. We'll come back in just a minute and show you uh, after we've masked it all off. You don't want to get overspray on anything other than on this pulley. So uh, we're going to get to masking that off. We're not going to show you the boring details of that. You'll see the after. All right, so as you can see, we just finished painting that pulley. Looks really nice. It was a nice touch. Matches the, uh, the gray topside color of the Snidester. And I gotta say, Rattle Can has come a long way in recent years uh, to get a finish like that. You can see the gloss finish 
Uh, there's a bit of sparkle in it when you really look at it. So it's going to be a nice touch uh, looking through the pulley guard to see that, see the action of that turning over. Yeah, and you see, we even kept the, uh, we even removed the little keeper there and painted it black just for a little contrast. Uh, brushed the head of that socket head a little bit, and I think it's a really nice touch. All right, now we'll get down to the installation. It's very simple. Uh, of course, in the instructions, it says refer to the photo in the instructions. See how this orientates. There's the photo. Match it up, tilt it up. You know, it goes just like that. Then you have your, uh, your quarter 20 bolts. You'll pass a washer through that bolt. And of course, medium thread locker. All right, so the quarter 20 bolts, you have three fasteners here. The smaller ones, the quarter 20s, they're the front two, then the larger fastener toward the rear. You have your washer in place, slip it through, apply the spacer. You wanna go ahead and prep the second one because you're not really gonna be able to get it in place uh, once you fasten the first one down. So you wanna go ahead and uh, prep all of that. So you want those just on there loosely, just hold everything in place. Now you can begin prepping the rear fastener and spacer. Now, again, this bike had this uh, L bracket that retained the exhaust pipe. You wanna make sure you uh, put that back in place if this is uh, equipped on your model. few extra fingers you can hold it all in place all right now these front two quarter 20 bolts they get torqued to seven to ten foot pounds i'm gonna set it to ten all right those are ten foot pounds and uh, then i'm gonna torque this one back here uh to 30 to 33 foot pounds I don't advise this, but uh, since I don't want to move the exhaust entirely and I can't get my tools in there to uh, torque it exactly, I'm going to use the German torque setting, the good and tight. Now we've done several of these installations, so I know exactly how tight this needs to be back here. And of course there is thread locker on it, so uh, no risk of it really coming loose. Very clean look, very clean, easy installation to do. Uh, as I said at the beginning of the video, serves absolutely no purpose other than looking good. So if you have questions about compatibility of fitment for your model, shoot me an email to support at dkcustomproducts.com. There will be a link to this pulley guard as well as the other options we offer on our website in the description below. Y'all ride safe out there.